Hello, Tiki's Geckos. Hi, David. We have a bit of a situation. We have some snakes that were abandoned in an apartment in Miami. Can you help? Yeah. Uh, send me the address. I'll be right there. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. The neck is super thin. Okay, so we're on our way to this apartment in Miami Beach to pick up these snakes. We have no clue what type of snakes they are yet, but you know, hopefully they're all good, they're healthy, and we could get them rehomed. Right, guys so we're walking up on the property I don't really know what to expect so we're here so oh, the lights are on and everything hello anybody here am I showing this guy's house so apparently this tenant just got up and left and didn't he wasn't paying rent or anything but basically that's why he left back a bunch of snakes and we're gonna go through this stuff and see what's to, what's going on here. Did you did you just what was there a no, dead no, rat no, in there? No, I'm trying to figure out. So there's a bunch of ball pythons here. Some of these are empty. Oh, that's like a calico or something. Perfect. Obviously, they look kind of neglected. No water. There's a bunch of shed in there. So we're gonna get these guys set up and then obviously head out of here. Just poop everywhere. Yeah, it smells raw. Oh, there's probably a death. I smell death, bro. Or it might just be poop just like stuck in there for so long, maybe. No, I smell death. What is that? Oh, yeah, I yep. told you there was death. Oh, yeah, I know I smelled something bad. Yeah. Okay, buddy, we're here to rescue you. Oh fuck, it just hit me. Yeah. It's not like it's skinny. Yeah. Oh, this doesn't feel good. It probably hasn't had any heat. It's, this yeah. is really hard. Oh, so you think it's like backed up? Might just have to give that like a hot soap, try to help it poop. Oh, god no, damn. No, 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 but it, you could you could just smell the death. Hopefully there's no more. That one looks weird. His head looks weird. Yeah. It? Oh, it's super thin. Might have to pick up some live wood and sit on the way up. Yeah, see? there's like multiple sheds in these. I know. The head is like super thin. The neck is super thin. Probably been neglected for some time. This thing doesn't look as bad. No, it's probably because it's bigger. Yeah. Pastel hat clown? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. What? There's a bow in here. What? Look how many sheds are in there. Bro, what the fuck? Dude, there's this thing, no water. Oh, dude. This has been in a fucking box, no water, no nothing. No heat. All right, let's have more bags though, right? Now, I bet you there's fucking snakes loose in here. Where's the light box? He's skinny, bro. All right, buddy, you ready? No, I, I, I didn't even need to do that. I didn't even need to do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's trying to bite you. Alright, cool. Alright. Alright. Hold on. Okay, all the snakes are. Um. Okay, so we got all the snakes in there. There's one boy and about six ball pythons. We got an incubator and these racks that we're gonna use to house them. All right, so we got all the snakes packed up. We're getting, we're gonna head over to our reptile store to pick up some rodents for these guys and hopefully get them fed today. We, we found some that were obviously dead. A lot of poop. A lot of neglected and, animals, man. Yeah, a lot of neglected animals, a lot of poop, sheds and stuff, but uh, Hopefully they're not carrying any diseases or something. We're gonna we're gonna house them in a different shed 
where there's no animals in our office so hopefully we'll you know bring these guys back up and then we'll have them up um, for somebody to you know to rehome them or whatever but good thing we got here today because probably more would have died we got all the racks here we cleaned all the tubs now we're gonna start putting the snakes we're gonna give them a soak so they could actually get hydrated and then maybe tomorrow we're gonna try to feed them these racks are filthy we started cleaning them and there was actually roaches in them so it's just been a nightmare but um, yeah hopefully these snakes do good We'll keep you guys updated on how they do, but as of now, we got to get to work, get these snakes ready. Oh, yeah. He's Damn, trying to be one crazy. with the water. Yeah. That one doesn't look good either. No, but he feels better. We might have to set up one more. I'm just gonna that one. He's not as bad as some of those ball pythons, but... No, he probably got neglected the most somehow, because he had like 30 sheds on top of it, so... Yeah. Alright guys, so it's been a couple days. The snakes are much better now. I wanted to give you guys an update. wanted to show you what water and a little bit of TLC could actually do. Look at these snakes. If you remember, this one was really bad. It's looking a lot better now. Hopefully they keep doing good. None of them have died. This one's actually hissing, which is pretty good. They feel good. Some of them have already eaten a meal or two. Some of them haven't yet. I don't think this one has. But you know, we'll make sure we we give them, we get them fed, and we'll make. I mean, look at this snake, man. This one looks awesome compared to how we found it. So we'll make sure these guys get a good meal, another couple good meals. Um, we'll make sure they don't have respiratory or or any any sort of diseases or anything. Boat's doing very well also. It ate two times actually for us already. It's gotten water. So um, we're gonna hold it for a couple days, make sure it's all good. And then we're gonna be rehoming these guys. We're happy that we got to get these guys going and we haven't lost any so that's good news and they all look better they're all drinking water the day we got them in here hope you guys like the video if you want to support the channel make sure you join our membership program we are giving exclusive videos uh, early access to videos discounts and more until next time guys thank you so much Mwah. love you guys and we'll see you on the next one